Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Gababetic and welcome to today's video. Today I am trying a brand new CGM from the company Cybonics. This is it here, just got it in the post today. This video isn't sponsored by Cybonics but they did gift me their Cybionics CGM sample kit so I could try it out. So today in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing and applying the Cybionics CGM and then I'm going to be following up with another video which will be a much more longer in-depth video looking at the overall CGM, how it lasted over the few weeks the accuracy, advantages, disadvantages, things like that. But for today, we're going to be unboxing it and applying it. So let's get started. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I do our unboxing. So I got this little cardboard box. I don't know how many samples are in here, although they gifted me it. It says Cybonics all over it. And this did come from Hong Kong. Let's open it up and take a look. I'm thinking if there'll just be one sensor in here for the stamp oh my god i think there's actually two. Oh, this is great so first look at the sensors okay so i just opened the box and i see that i've been given two so this is a sample pack so it's not for sale though that's one that they sent me there and then this is what i believe their cgm so it's cybionics gs1 cgm system this is what i believe it would look like if you purchased it so they've given me two there which is great because i'll be able to do my two videos out of them so yeah that's how they look so the cgm system is called gs1 you can see that it's on the sample pack it's written there too it says gs1 there as well this is the shape of the cgm so you can see that it's gonna look different than dexcom and libra but you know what it kind of reminds me of a libra the way libra has this little part in the middle just like a longer version of the libra so that's interesting that all of the cgms have their own shapes but you know what let's get one of these open we'll start with the sample pack we'll be doing that in this video we'll unbox this and apply this let's get going okay look how pretty this looks let's go ahead and open this up and see what we have here so like i said this was gifted by cybionics so i've been doing a bit of reading online and they sent me some info in the email too so this company cybionics was set up in 2015 but at the end of 2023 they just got ce mark approval in europe for this gs1 cgm system so that's why you're probably seeing it on your youtube and your instagram and stuff now so right scan the code for instructions before use i have had a little look on the website and i watched a kind of video of how to put it on so i have some idea but let's see what we have here so oh they come out together i'm liking the look of that so what i believe we have here is very similar to how the freestyle libra application looked so this is your sensor pack so the sensor is actually in here and as you can see, it's kind of like the Libra. It's very like the Libra. This is like a sterile kind of thing to keep it together. And then we have the applicator here. I'm liking the colors and I'm liking how this feels. So I believe this is the safety pin that we're going to be looking at in a minute. And we're going to be opening this. And it's kind of like the Libra. We're going to be kind of pushing it together almost. But basically, that's the applicator. And this is the sensor pack. So that's the two of them. Other things then that we have here. So we have an over patch. So that's going to go on top after we've applied the sensor. And then we have some instructions. So this will tell us how to get started. And so far, and from what I believe, there is just an app. I don't know anything about receivers. That'll be a question I might have at the end of my second video. I'm going to use the app in this video. So I have downloaded that earlier so that I'm ready. So putting aside our application pack for a second, I will have a quick look at the starter guide. So yeah, we're gonna use the app. So I have already set up the app and registered with that. So get ready. So select a site on the back of your upper arm and use an alcohol wipe to remove anything. That's fine. Peel off the lid of the sensor pack. It should be put flat, okay. Take off the cap from the sensor applicator and push it back down firmly on itself okay interesting it's very like the libra if you haven't watched my libra videos i'll link them in the description lift the sensor applicator out of the pack okay so if it looks like this it's ready if not not ready we'll have to take a closer look at that peel off the safety pin put it on the arm and make sure it's well applied and then scan it using the app and that's how to change your sensor. I think that seemed very straightforward. I remember struggling with the Dexcom a lot, so I'm kind of happy with this. So yeah, let's go ahead and give it a go. So let's see what we have to do to start. So to start, yeah, we're going to do the arm. 
we're gonna go ahead and peel off the top of this let's do that i really like that new stuff is coming out on the market like this cybionic cgm i know this was gifted to me but like i i'm really glad that i've got my hands on it to try it out because you know the better the technology is the better it is for us type 1 diabetics and anyone who uses a cgm to improve our diabetes control okay so that is ready to go on the flat desktop uncover the cap from the applicator and press the applicator firmly down on the pack so okay we're going to take the lid off this and we're going to push it straight down into that like i said that's literally what you do with libras so Okay, we're getting our first look at the actual sensor itself so you can see the shape of it there the needle is not ready yet so that'll be done after we push it into this i think this part is actually the needle here well i'm getting nervous as you notice this says press firmly so i've lined it up here this has to match here it kind of you want this wording here at the front and then i'm just going to put it here for now and okay Oh yes, you can see that's ready. Look at that needle. Why are there CGM needles? It looks kind of scary, but like they all look like that. So I'm not gonna hold anything against it right now anyway, but look at that ready to go. Oh my God, right, let's put this part away. Sorry, mini break. Look how cute she is. Look at them little paws. Are you warming yourself by the heater? She's a very good girl. She's keeping me company. Okay, lift this out. Oh yeah, so we can see if we compare them here, mine is ready to apply and that's not ready. It's kind of like a bit out of it, out of the kind of this part here, this white part. There we go. Okay, so the next part, got to remove the safety pin, place it over the arm and push it down and then smooth it over. Here is the scary part, let's put this on. Here we go. All right, I am wearing a Dexcom at the moment because that will be a part of my bigger video. I want to compare it for accuracy. Um, I always get so scared of <laughs> these new things. Like, honestly, I will say I have found the application very easy to follow so far. Libra is easy to follow. Dexcom, I just, I don't know what it was, the G6, I really struggled with how to follow it. It wasn't that bad for the G7. This is very like the Libra, so I do really like this application so far. But this safety pin part, I'm a bit, a bit like what? I'll just hold it here and I'll read it from the side. It says that we have to pull out the safety pin. So I think if I put it this way, kind of grab these parts. Oh my God, I'm so scared I'll like set it off. So let's do this safety pin part. I'm kind of scared I'll like set it off, but I think I just grab these, pull them out. Oh yeah, it was pretty easy, but like I said, a bit worrying to set it off, especially when it's your first time. So I've done that. Next, I'm going to press this button here. I hope you can see this at the top. So I'm going to be pressing this onto my skin to get it to apply. So I'm going to be doing it on the right arm because the Dexcom is on the left. And so far, I can see that it's only approved to actually do it on the upper arm. So not on the stomach like you can with Dexcom. Not that I use the stomach, but here we go. I hope you can see me. So one, two, three. Oh, they always make that noise. I hope it works. I think it worked. How's it looking, guys? I can't even see it, so you have to <laughs> tell me in the comments. So it says smooth over, like that. I need to go have a little look in the mirror, see how this is looking. Okay, I am liking it so far. Here's how it looks. Now, we do have an over patch. Let me find that. So this is actually really cool. This over patch, I don't know if you can see, it actually is like a raised kind of plasticky part here. Normally, the over patches, you just kind of get this papery bit. This is very cool. I'm liking this. So <laughs> I'm gonna go through this in the mirror because this is really hard to do myself. And then I'll show you it, but I really like that. That's that's really good. Oh my God, I realized it's bleeding. <gasps> we have a bleeder. Now this happens. So I'm not surprised because it's happened to me with Dexcom. It's happened to me with the Libra. More often with the Libra. This must be very similar to Libra. So I need to clean that up first and hopefully it'll be fine. I did put it on a spot where I had a Dexcom like two days ago. So I don't know if that's me for doing that. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let's clean it up and then I'm going to put on the over part. But yeah, I do want to be honest in the video. So I do have a bleeder CGM. So something to keep an eye on. Okay, I have the over patch on. I do really like how hard the over patch is. And it's big like a Dexcom G6. This is definitely bigger than the G7 
that I have here. But anyway, I am surprised that the first one was a bleeder. I do wonder now, the needle looked big and the applicator, I'm wondering, is it bigger? I must look that out. I might do that for my second part of this video. But anyway, here it is on. So we have to activate it next. So what I have to do is I have to go onto my app, which I will show you on a little screen recording and I have to scan the code. Okay, interesting. So you probably saw from that screen recording there. So it isn't actually, you don't scan this code here. You scan the QR code on the box there. So once I figured that out, that's fine. And in fairness, it actually does say that on the instructions to scan the code that's on the box. It doesn't ever mention that. So it's a bit confusing though that it's there. So maybe something to bear in mind. It's feeling fine, it's on now. So I showed you the app there. So it's looking very similar to the Dexcom G7 app. So obviously it's gonna show my blood sugar when it warms up. Warm up time, 60 minutes, bit long. It's kind of like in the middle in terms of where the CGMs are. So, so Dexcom G7 is at the top with a half an hour warm up. Then we've got the middle kind of ones, which is this one, the Cybionics and also the Freestyle Libra. And then bottom is Dexcom G6, because that's two hours. So 60 minutes, it's like an average warm up. I'll be very interested to see when I start getting readings, but that's gonna be in my part two of this kind of Cybionics review. Before I finish also, you can see that I had alarm settings. So it does have alarms, which is really good. So my lows are set around the threes and my high alarms are 13.9. Now I can change them if I want, but they were the kind of default ones. Next video will be way more in depth. I just know that I really wanted to take a few minutes, play with this, try it out and not be rushed trying to fit it all into like what would be a really long video. So in the next video, I'm going to be looking at how this goes on. We'll see if it bleeds anymore. That was probably the only disappointing part of this video was that it bleeds. Now they do have a customer service. Obviously, I don't know anything about that because I've never used it, but probably would be okay if I did want to get it replaced. But I've had CGMs that bleed before, it's stopped now, so I'm just going to keep going with it. I'll show you this because I think this is the one, if you actually order from the website, what you would get. So it has an application, a sensor pack, has medical tape, the product and a user guide, so that's good. Overall, I'm really actually excited to try it. I think in terms of how it looks, it looks good. It's like a Freestyle Libra, but a bit longer. And then when you put the tape on it, it kind of makes it look like a Dexcom G6. But so far, I found the application easy to follow, actually very easy because I really struggled with the Dexcom G6 with the transmitter and pairing and all of that. So I found this very easy and I'm looking forward to keeping the video going. So thanks so much for watching so far. Hope you liked the video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks Cybionics for gifting me this sample system and I hope I'll really enjoy the next, oh yeah. And I hope I'll enjoy the two week trial that I'm doing with this. I forgot to say that's how long the CGM system lasts. It lasts two weeks. So that's why I need some time to do my bigger video. But I just want to kind of intro you guys into it today and we'll see how it gets on. We'll be comparing it to Dexcom in the next video and blood sugar pricks as well. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm liking it so far and I hope I continue to. So I'll see you all for part two of this video in a few weeks. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Ah!